Uh, in this video, uh, this is an example of uh, use of Newton Raphson method in approximate a root. Right? Uh, so in the previous uh, video, I have already uh, show you what is the usage of Newton Raphson and the derivation of Newton Raphson. And what how to show that there is a root between uh, between a two in the interval, right? In an interval, uh, such that uh, show that that is at least a root between the interval, right? Uh, so we can using uh, the we can observe by looking at the change of sign of the function, right? Uh, so okay, in this video, I'm going to repeat again. So what is uh, okay the method of finding the roots for this equation, right? In between here so then the question said that show that the equation x plus e x equals to zero has a root right has a root means that between these two has a root which the root means a value of x such that we're causing this to be equals to zero all right uh, that's the root so of course i'm going to let the fx uh, in the form of expression right in and, and uh in an, an expression so now if i okay how to verify that is a root okay the method will be this way right if i, if I tell you before uh, so why is it in the previous video right why why there is a change of sign so uh, if you put substitute negative one you have negative one plus with e to the power of negative one right uh, so you find the value and you also find the value of uh, zero all right uh, 0 plus e to the power of 0, right? By looking at the uh, the sign of the value, we can identify whether there is a root between this uh, between these two values, the interval, right? Okay, let's see. For the, this value, I will be getting negative uh, 0 0.632, all right? It's a negative value, right? It's a negative number, right? It's a negative number. And for this, you're getting 1, right? Which is the positive number so it means there is a change of sign right uh, in this interval it means that for the value of negative one uh, there is a negative sign and for zero the value of y will be become positive so the value of y this is actually the value of y right uh, the value of y so it means that uh, this is negative one then this is the value of y and for this one, zero, this is the value of y. The value of y suddenly from negative become positive, right? Negative become positive means there is a root between uh, these two, right? There is root between these two. So how to explain? You can, uh, you can uh, make a conclusion, say that uh, f negative one and f zero have different sign, right? Have different sign. Therefore, therefore, x plus e x equals to zero has a root between uh, has a root between x equals to negative one and x equals to zero. Right? You are verify first before you finding. What is the root? You have to verify. Oh yes, there is a root between negative one and zero, right? So, but they don't know. There can be any value in between these two. Can be negative zero point five. Can be negative zero point six. Can be negative zero point uh, uh, nine. Any number, right? In between these two. So, to in order to get that value, the roots uh, to get the answer for this, uh, the solution for this uh, equation, we have to apply newton Raphson method uh, by this question. All right. Uh, so let's see how to apply newton Raphson method. All right. Okay. Now go for the second part, which I already done with this. Right, let's go for the second part by using newton Raphson method with initial approximation. Usually initial approximation can be denoted by x0 or x1, right? Uh, in my video, or I were using x1, but x0 is also okay, right? It's also okay using x0. So since I have, I more prefer I, I using x1, so all my video I will say x1. The initial approximation is considered as the first approximation, all right? Uh, so, okay, of course, we need to understand the formula, right? The formula of Newton Raphson method, the iteration formula for Newton Raphson will be this formula, right? Uh, so xn minus with fxn over 
f prime x n. Uh, so this is the formula that I derived in the video uh, where I already derived by using the concept of Newton Repson. So okay, look at this. Uh, we want to apply this formula. There is the information we need. We need the where fx, right? Uh, so your fx will be uh, x plus ex, right? Uh, you know that this is your fx because I want to solve fx equals to zero. I find to find the roots. So then I differentiate uh, according to this formula. I need the differentiate for this fx. So differentiate one, differentiate ex. I getting ex, right? Uh, so this is the so the formula in all means that the iteration, the Newton iteration, Newton Raphson iteration method is helping us to getting the roots of the equation, right? So okay, let's rewrite the formula. Now I know the fxn. I know the fxn, which is x plus ex. I just put a subscript n. Uh, so and divided by uh, divided by f prime xn 1 plus e xn all right uh, this is just a formula for this case here so i'm i'm, I'm going to use this formula uh, this iteration formula to carry out in 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 getting the roots of this uh, equation here so it means first by apply x1 to be uh, negative 0 0.5 which is request by the question the question is asking you to using uh, by using Newton Raphson method with initial approximation, which for me is the first approximation. Alright, and I'm using this first approximation to get my second approximation. Right? Can you see that? Uh, your x2, if this is 1, the, the meaning of xn here is if here is 1, here will be 1 plus 1, x2. I will getting x2. Means that I will x1 minus with x1 plus e x1 divided by 1 plus e x1 right uh, so i have to carry out i have to find the values right as you know that your x1 in this case is negative 0 0.5 right uh, after you getting your x2 your x2 the x2 you are going to use the x2 replace inside here substitute inside to getting x3 you're getting the x3 uh, this is the algorithm okay the the step Right. Uh, later I'll show you what to do. So first you're finding the value of x2 and this x2 you substitute into the formula again to get x3. Uh, and after you're getting the x3, you want to get x4, the fourth approximation. So where I put x3 inside here, I'm getting the x4. After I want to get x5, I put x5, x4 uh, inside here, I'm getting x5. Right. Okay, I will show you okay, by using uh, the method, by using the calculator. Right, calculator to ease the way of we carry out the uh, iteration. All right, okay, let's see what I mean. All right, okay, let's continue uh, what I mean by using calculator in getting the value of all the approximation. Okay, as this is the first approximation is given by the question, it's negative 0 0.5. So, okay, I going this is the Newton Repson iteration formula which I have uh, derived from the question. So I'm going to key in this right hand side of this function uh, into the into the calculator. So very simple, just by uh, doing alphabet x. All right. Uh, so you have alphabet uh, x minus with. Okay, key in this. Mm fraction so you have x plus e x the x n is just a representation okay if this is one this is two if this is three this is four all right so this is just a representation so x so you key in alphabet x all right plus with shift there's a long here uh, e and alphabet x all right uh, then now you have below here you have 1 plus exn so you key in 1 plus shift e to the power of x all right now you compare you have already key in this into the calculator you must make sure it's exactly the same all right uh, no now you key it, you you pressing the button calculate right clac so we want to get the value of x2 okay later i show you uh, what what is the meaning here now i just record the value here now i have x1 so i want to get the value of x2 
Uh, so if I want to get the value of x2, this will be x my x1. So I need to substitute this negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5, everything with negative 0 0.5. So I'm not going to do here. So uh, you just see what I'm doing. So, but this question requires us to get a approximation of the root with three decimal places, right? Uh, three decimal places here. So it's encouraged to giving five decimal places, extra two decimal places, or one decimal places. All right. Uh, but uh, in my video, all I'm going to give extra two decimal places here. So now, with the formula I key in now, with the formula I key in, so now I calculate negative 0 0.5. Okay, uh, negative 0 0.5, right? Okay, sorry, negative 0 0.5, press double equal, equal, double equal. So I were getting negative 0 0.56631, all right? That's why I said, if the question requests you to give three decimal, I will give five decimal to be more accurate, all right? So I record the value. The value here now that appear here will be my x2, which is negative 0 0.5. Five, six, six, three, one. All right. Uh, extra two decimal places here. So, okay. Now I'm going to repeat this to find the x three. All right. Finding the x three. So finding x three by using this value because I finding x two by using this value. Right. Now I want to find the x three by using this value. Okay. Uh, so means that I'm going to substitute this into this equation here. Right. If I substitute, I key in calculator, it will be wasting of time. Right. So what I'm doing is I'm using this calculator. All right. Uh, just now, you see, I repeat again. Calculate the first one is the negative 0 0.5. Right. Negative 0 0.5. So I'm getting double equal, I'm getting negative 0 0.56631. The second approximation. Now I want to get the third approximation. So I just pressing this button. Calculate. Then I pressing the button answer. And I pressing equal. Uh, then I were getting negative 0 0.5671. Right? Negative 0 0.56. Right? Negative 0 0.56. Right? 714. So 714. So the third approximation. Uh, if you round off this, if you round off the value, if you round off this into three decimal places, you are getting 0 0.566, right? And this one, if you round off, you are getting 0 0.567, okay? Which is still not the same, right? Uh, means if you round off the value, it's not the same. So what I do, I continue to finding the x4, all right? Uh, until the value here, re constant, okay? I calculate again. Answer and I press equal and equal again, double equal. So I'm getting negative 0 point, negative 0 0.56714, right? Uh, you see, means that these two value already repeat, means approximate, means, means that they already be the same after you round off to three decimal places, right? So means that this will be the roots of this equation means that this is the answer for the roots of x plus e x equals to zero All right uh, this will be the roots for for this uh, equation here so why i need this value okay i'm going to show you now why i need all this value here All right all right okay let's continue now i have already told you i have already find out i have list down all the value from calculator so now i can show how I using Newton Raphson method in finding the roots of this equation. So now I have x2. Supposingly you need to substitute your with negative 0 0.5 uh, minus with negative 0 0.5 plus with e negative 0 0.5 right uh, divided by 1 plus e negative 0 0.5 but we no longer need to key in this into your calculator all right because just now we have already done right so we just Take the value here and put it here, right? Uh, so we know that the x2 will be negative 0 0.56631, right? Okay, now this is your x2, right? Your x2. So you want to find your x3, okay? You want to find x3 means that 
The value of x2, x3, x4, <coughs> if you keep going, the value will become constant. All right? uh, the value that already constant, that will be the roots for this equation. All right? uh, so how to find x3? So x3, you will substitute the value of negative 0.5003. Right. You're just writing, show that you are actually doing. So negative 0 0.56631 plus with E, negative 0 0.56631. All right, repeat. E, negative 0 0.56631. Okay, then you know the value. Don't need to go and key calculator for this one more time. So you have known the value for X3. You have get from calculator, which is negative 0 0.56714. Uh, negative 0 0.56714 right uh, you have show two iteration right so the remaining you just write okay x4 so which is uh, negative 0 0.56714 once you see let's say once you see that these two remain constant means that after you round off you're getting 0 0.567 round off you're getting 0 0.567 for three decimal places, you stop here, right? You stop because it's already constant, right? Means it's already reached the roots, the actual roots for this equation. Or we said the approximate root for this equation here. So therefore, we know that the roots will be x equals to negative 0 0.567 uh, will be the answer for this, uh, will be the solution or the roots for this equation here, all right? By applying newton Raphson method. Alright, uh, so that's all for this video. Hope you understand. I will give another two examples to show you clearly what is the step that you need to carry out in order to get the roots of an equation.